Brooke and I are now in Manchester. We drove from Leeds yesterday and we've arrived in Manchester. We had a couple of issues with the car that are being sorted out this morning. The brake pads went and so that created a quite a stressful evening. We are about to head to this place called Flight Club. That's not Fight Club, that's Flight Club because it's a dart throwing place. It's a circus cat themed dart place. Both Brooke and I suck at darts but it'll be a bit of fun. And thankfully you're in wee little um, cubicles so no one can see how truly terrible we are. <laughs> oh no, you bit me. You just, you just bit me. So that's, that's one to me, two to you. Yes. Oh, no. The game so far has been pretty tied up between Brooke and I. But with this shot, I win. Four to three. I missed, but I, I still win. <laughs> How are you finding darts so far, Brooke? I'm much better than I thought I was going to be. <laughs> much better than me, too. <laughs> oh, so, um, we've all finished now at the, at the flight club. Um, we had so much fun and we definitely drew at the end. No, I won. No, we definitely drew. No, I won by one game. Flashback. Just in case Brooke says anything, I won. I won. End of flashback. Anyway, we tied and now we're in the northern quarter, which is this really cool, like funky, very modern, youthful sort of part of Manchester where there's all this really cool like street art, lots of like really hip cafes, lots of boutique shopping, very alternative. I, I don't know, it's just you really fit nice. in. Yeah, in this dress I do. <laughs> that dress, that hat, the glasses, the fringe. Yeah. <laughs> You're such an oldie girl. And who am I? And we bought Dad. And I'm Dad, Stephen. <laughs> I really enjoy um, the, the purple shirt with the pink flowers behind pink you. One. It's like I'm asking. Yeah, it's nice. And I definitely won. <laughs> So we've just checked out Manchester Cathedral as you can see behind me there. It was gorgeous on the inside, such nice stained glass windows. They're setting up for a, a service in about half an hour so we didn't hang out for too long. And we've also been checking out the streets of Manchester as well. We didn't realise actually how close our apartment was to the rest of the city. It did say online that it was about a 15 minute walk but in reality it was about a 2 minute walk to the city centre. So a lot closer than we were told which was a really nice surprise. Um, so we're just going to go back to the apartment and chill out for a bit before heading to mini golf. We are currently at a place called Roxy Golf Manchester. Um, which is in this Roxy ballroom um, where there's a whole bunch of different uh, ball games. We're playing mini golf, but there's also ski ball and table tennis and pool and a whole bunch of other things. It's also a bar as well, so it's adults only, so it's really, really cool. And we're currently in the glow in the dark room, and Brooke is absolutely destroying me at mini golf. I <laughs> suck so much. I bet her at the darts earlier today, but this no, is her we game. Tied. No, I beat you in the darts, we so this tied. is definitely her game. Oh my god, your teeth look crazy. <laughs> Right, I think to win this last hole I need to get like eight hole in one at <laughs> one. <laughs> Not off to a great start. Good morning everyone. So today we have come from Manchester, gone on a lovely hour's drive and now we are in Liverpool. We've parked right up on the dock um, and we're going to go explore. We've got tickets to the Tate Museum which we're going to check out and I think as well there are a few other touristy attractions around Liverpool that we're going to find out as well. We're only here for one night so we're going to try and fit as much in as possible. So behind me is a really famous building in Liverpool that represents three Greek goddesses. Those are the goddesses of elegance, charm and beauty. Or 
uh, Aphrodite, Charis, and Hebe. Uh, not in that order though. But uh, it's really cool. And it's uh, got on the top of it, what were they called? Liverbirds. Liverbirds, which are the mythical creature of Liverpool. So we've just had lunch at this fantastic old church called St Luke's. It was a church that during the Liverpool Blitz was destroyed, well at least the interior of it was destroyed, but the exterior still remained in as close to perfect condition. And so they've uh, made a wee um, restaurant around it that we've just enjoyed lunch at. Yeah, which is known as the bombed out church it's, by locals. It's known as the bombed out church and it's thoroughly <laughs> bombed out. It is very nice. So we've checked in now to the Phoenix Hotel, which we found on Airbnb. Um, we're on the fourth floor, which is really nice, and it's got air conditioning, which we're absolutely delighted Yeah, about. it's the first time in oh about a week that we've been able to feel cold. And also super nice, one of the staff came up and has given us some champagne. Ooh. So there you go, my love. Yeah, they knocked on the door just before. I'm sure it will be very nice. It's got a little raspberry on it. Cheers. So we are here at another place. That's literally what it's called. It's called another place. Um, we're just outside of Liverpool about maybe 10-15 minutes to a place called Crosby Beach um, where there are about a hundred statues of this artist named Anthony Gormley. Um, they are all self-portraits in a way and we are here at sunset. It's a really really nice um, view as well. There's about a hundred statues that are laid out all across the beach as well. Some obviously um, on the sand, some further in the water. So we're about to head back to our Airbnb um, at Phoenix Hotel um, and tomorrow we're heading to Stratford-upon-Avon so we'll see you there. Good morning, um, today's a brand new day, um, it's our last day of our trip actually and so we're driving home and we're going to stop in Stratford-upon-Avon but before we left Liverpool, we thought we had to come and see the big daddy of the Super Lamb Bananas. <laughs> and it's nice that you've also decided to dress like a minion to say oh, hello to I him. I have, I match in the yellow. <laughs> Keep all your game, as and laws, as and laws. It's all the same, as and laws, as and laws. So we're here at Stratford-upon-Avon and we're actually on the Avon, we're in a rowboat at the moment. It was £14 to um, hop on a rowboat for 30 minutes um, down the Avon, which is really, really cool. A lot different um, from the Avon back home in Christchurch. Yeah, we've got a river back home in Christchurch where we live, um, also called the Avon. This is its namesake. And it's a lot nicer here. Yeah, our one's a bit polluted and earthquakey. So beautiful and there's these old bridges and later we're going to check out um, Shakespeare's birthplace. So we are now at Shakespeare's birthplace, uh, which is really cool. Obviously this is still the same house that Shakespeare was born in back in the 1500s. Uh, really cool to be here. We just went through a wee museum as well, which had a whole bunch of Shakespearean history, some of the old um, not manuscripts, but some programs from plays mm. hundreds of years ago as well. And behind me, as you can see, is Shakespeare's birthplace. Keep all your game, as and laws, as and laws. <laughs> so we just checked out Shakespeare's house, it was really cool on the inside, got a bit of information as well from a couple of the um, tour guides tour guides who were working there too. Definitely worth checking out, even if you're not a huge Shakespeare fan, it's just like laden with history, no matter who you are, if you live in the western world, you learn about Shakespeare as a child, I obviously teach about Shakespeare quite a bit too. Being a drama teacher. Yeah, really cool to see it <laughs> in person. 
Just love.